what would I be willing to do for 50 more years of life, you know? Wow, just about anything. <laughs> They're coming up with drugs so fast that if you can stick around for an extra couple years, that maybe by then they will have invented, you know, basically the cure for you. I was diagnosed with cancer when I was still in grad school. It took me a while to get into the doctors because I was so busy. I was diagnosed with metastatic melanoma and spread to my lungs. It interrupted everything. Before that, I had just been a student, you know, study, you know, go home, play some video games, maybe um, hang out with my friends. And certainly my health was not something that I thought about at all. Michelle is our second daughter and she's an amazing young woman. It's been a lot of fun watching her decide what career she was gonna to go to. We are so proud of her and how she handles everything. I've participated in five clinical trials total and I've had six treatments. And yeah, I didn't have any doubts about doing the immunotherapy. These new treatments that are coming out are the ones that are potentially gonna save my life. And if it's not my life, you know, it's gonna be somebody else's in the future. Uh, and I really want to help with that. With my my current treatment, um, I'm on any PDL one and cobimetinib. The whole idea of using your own body to fight the disease sounds really smart instead of just poisoning me. <laughs> you know, the immunotherapy is just trying to release the brakes, as my doctor explained. What about you know, release the brakes from the immune system? Well, you do have a choice of how to look at things and we're choosing to look that Michelle will be well. And with the immunotherapy, we feel there's actually hope for that. As the parent, you wanna ride in and rescue your kids. And even if they're an adult, you, you know, you want to do that. She's uh, working part-time and she's maintaining a, a household up here. And I, I do, I have metastatic cancer and it's, it's at this point, it's spread kind of all over. The recent scans from my, my latest immunotherapy clinical trial were the best results I've had so far. It showed that I had um, lots of spots shrinking um, and, and things staying stable and, and nothing was growing. There's no words for how exciting that is for me to, to have my cancer shrinking. The, the spots in my lungs and stuff, I you know have pain from that, um, and so I've been feeling better. I've been taking less painkillers, um, so that's very exciting for me. Well, to the people that support like the Cancer Research Institute, the first thing I want to say is just thank you. You know, thank you so much because this has really made a difference in my life. I, I truly believe you know without these treatments that I wouldn't be here sitting here today. To get to the dream of having a cure for cancer. I think that, you know, patients need to continue to, to participate in the clinical trials. Funding needs to continue to be there for the research. Doctors and scientists need to continue to, to try out new ideas and, and explore, you know, the existing avenues, especially in immunotherapy. I mean, it takes time and, and money and patients that are willing to try these new therapies. That's definitely the dream.